Since 2022, I've had none massacre, but this one trophy kept me from getting the platinum. This trophy being the extreme trophy. It wants you to get the good or normal ending while also playing on extreme difficulty. Now, Nun Massacre has 23 trophies, nine trophies related to endings and difficulty, and 13 trophies that are related to in-game actions like collectibles and miscellaneous things. Most of these weren't too bad. I actually got them back in 2022, but the extreme trophy may be wait until 2024. For those who don't know what Nun Massacre is, it's a horror game made by Puppet Combo, which they're known for making VHS tape horror games like Bloodwash and Stay Out of the House. If you were around 2019, YouTube, you would have seen this game everywhere. It is probably one of the scariest games I have ever played. When I started the game, I was in a bathtub where I heard some music playing on a radio and then a metal vent noise. This is when I got out of the bathtub and went looking around the house. I saw this bright light on the floor, which turned out to be a note. Okay. Hello, what the heck is that? This light was actually how the game lets you know of important items. Reading the note, it says, Dear Mrs. McDonald, I hope this letter finds you well. Your child is sick and needs your immediate attention. We would normally handle this matter, but the situation is urgent. As we do not have telephone survive, I think they meant to say service, but they spelled it wrong, said survive. You will need to appear in person. In the peace of Christ, Mother Apollonia. Once we read the note, we appeared at this large mountain area where we had to go to the very top of the mountain to find the school. I don't know why we would take our child here but we did once i got to the top after a five minute walk i saw another light on a door so i went inside oh bright light and we're in just like that literal pitch black you can't see a thing you actually can't see anything but since i've already played a lot i already knew what i was doing i just kept going forward until i found a purple window when i was at this window i knew i was at a set of stairs so i had to go to the right and move backwards up the stairs coming across another window this is where I can find the lighter. I fall along the back wall where I can go into this room, which isn't the right room with the lighter. So I go back and stay along the wall until I find the next room over. This is where I find the lighter and I can finally see. Next, I have to go back to the stairs where I came up from and go up another floor. Now the thing about the stairs is there's a pit of barbed wire at the bottom. And if you fall in, you get stuck and the nun appears. This is actually a trophy you can get as well, but I already got it back in 2022, so nothing popped. Now the way I got around this is going back to the floor with the lighter and down the hall there's a bathroom with a piece of plywood. I grab it and place it down above the barbed wires so I can get to the next floor. When I was at the next floor I went into the first room in front of me and got a rock. With the rock I threw it at this window and jumped in. Throw it in there. I hate this game so much it literally gives me chills. Now in the corner is a vent. You have to use this a lot to get around. Unfortunately the nun sometimes spawns in here and kills you. So volume warning. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hello! Her scream is horrid. I hate it. Starting over, I did everything I just said all over again. Except I did a jump trick that allows me to skip getting the plank. Once I was back in the vent, I got really paranoid she was gonna show up again. And of course, she did. Oh my gosh, this game is so scary. So scary, so scary. I want to pee. Scary, scary, scary. I need to go pee pee. Please don't be in the vent. Please don't be in the vent. I'm good. There it is again. I'm literally gonna die. Oh my gosh! Now I was barely scratching the surface for the normal or good ending and just kept dying and dying. So I had enough and I looked up if there was any easy way to beat the expert mode. And to my surprise, I found there was an exploit that allowed me to skip trying to find all the items I needed. This is the second time in two videos where I looked something up because I was struggling. So I apologize for that, but I wanted to get this game done. I literally spent over 40 hours on this game and I did not want to spend any more time on it. Now the Exploit still is a bit challenging. I did the normal thing I was doing in the beginning, but I was actually able to go through the vents without dying. Yippee! After, I found a set of stairs and went up these stairs, going around the corner into a room where I pushed this box and hopped on top of it, getting into another vent. The vent led me to a room that had wire clippers. Once I got the wire clippers, I went out of the room and went back to the stairs I was at, going up to a room where it has a electrical box where I need to cut the wire to turn off a fan. 
This fan is located in the vents I just came from. So, going back to the vents, I crawled through the fan blades, entering a kitchen area. Since I didn't really have to worry about the kitchen for this, I just left the kitchen and was in this little play area. Now, for the exploit to work, I had to go through this door right here and up these stairs. Once I was up them, I had to go around another corner, entering a bathroom. This is when I found a toilet lid, which is the main item I need for this exploit. Bringing the toilet lid back to the little play area, I have to go to these double doors and go through them. Once going through the doors, you're led to an outside area. In this outside area, there's usually a coffin you're supposed to go into, getting you the normal ending. But since I had a hard time playing this game, this is where the toilet lid comes in. So what I did is I went to the middle of this wall on the right side and looked down at the toilet lid and started jumping on it. As I was jumping on it, the game kept pushing me up and up. So I kept going up until I went over this wall. Once I was over the wall, I had to turn facing back towards the middle so I can get into the coffin. Now the coffin is automatically underneath the map. So the main goal was to jump off the toilet lid into the coffin. Now it doesn't seem too bad but I messed this up so many times. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. I want to be done with this game forever. Oh, it's over. Damn it! Where's this damn coffin at? What? It was right there. Oh my gosh! Where's the coffin? Where's the coffin? Where's the co- Dude, where's this damn coffin at? Right? I'm just jumping at this point. I don't even know where the- Where it is. I didn't know where it was! Like, wh After messing up these jumps so many times, I thought maybe I should try the left wall instead. So that's what I did. On my first try going on the left side, I actually saw the coffin for the first time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! I was there! But of course, I messed it up. I was literally there. I took, I, oh, it was real, it is real. That's clarified now. No, I should have, oh, I should have just left it go. But I had to get, I had to get smart with myself. I had to press circle to crouch. Of course I did. Of course I did. I'm such a dummy. And after I saw the coffin, I didn't get much luck after that. I kept dying and dying and dying. Sugar baby, sugar baby, sugar baby. Oh my gosh. Dude, I didn't even get to freaking try. I didn't even get to try. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. Not, not you though, not you though, not you though. No, 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 no. Baby gong, baby gong, baby raising up, baby gong. Ra whoa, 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 toilet seat, toilet seat, toilet seat, lock in, toilet seat. To toilet, toilet seat, toilet seat. Oh my gosh! But one time I actually got lucky, and this happened, right there. I see it. I want it. I got it. Yes, yes, yes. I finally made it in the coffin. Once I was in there, it gave me the extreme trophy and the platinum. Close, close, platinum, 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 platinum. Please, please. Where's the, what's going on? The end, platinum, please. Am I done? Am I done? Am I done? Please give it to me, please. Yes! Oh my gosh! I did it! Tape Master 100% completion! Yes! It's over. The nightmare is over. Thank the Lord. 
That's it for this platinum video. If you guys have any games you'd like to see me get platinum, let me know in the comments and subscribe to be notified when those come out. Also, for more platinum videos, click here. And with all that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.